are currently going to check out the hotel's breakfast to see if it's something we can just grab quickly or hit the city looking for breakfast. Everything is outdoors and is incorporated into the hotel. Let's go see if our friends want to talk to us today. I wonder if they got some good sleep last night. Hola. Hello. Hi. Okay. Well, we just wanted to say hi. Look at his eyes, he's still sleepy. So, we'll check back in on y'all later. And you can see the ocean. Looks like a waffle bar, scrambled eggs, and a granola bar. Yes, this is the peacock. It is very much so a real peacock. It's funny how it's behind the danger badge. Hi. We are currently on the way to see the fort. This is the bay that we've been seeing from our balcony. Or is it the ocean? But it cuts off with the bridge that crosses into the city. It's a nice breeze today. This is Fort San Geronimo. She walk. The waves are really kicking it up. That's our resort over there. They're asking for a donation of $5 per Patreon if it comes through. Also, to wear your mask. All right. Wow. 
concrete area for water reserve reservoir. So pretty much it's the storage for their water, drinking water. Correct, honey? They even had a light fixture. Well, Don't everything. Okay, well. And this is actually a working vented hood. They were grind grains in this to make their breads in the mortar and pestle. Wooden and clay. Look at this door. And they put like iron pieces of metal for the hinges. Sit on the. Well, this is barely hanging on. So this room. Um, oh wow. a timeline of events. This stark drawer represents how an entire population was moved from the swampy human mosquito infested lands of Caparera to Esther where the first inhabitants of San Juan could enjoy a delicious and refreshing breeze that blew constantly. Wow. Look at these beams. I'm sure the fans are something that was added later. And these are just exhibits, tools, I just wanted to show y'all the rooms and then I go back and I read upon the items that it's showcasing. This room is the forging room, and which
also has a skylight. This board shows the progress of them getting the fort ready to be or to welcome tourists. Looks like they started in 2018. Yeah, we'll sign before we leave. Thank you. Look at the baby, why is it so blue? As it crashes. So this is actually the skylight down to the kitchen. <laughs> wow. And there's cannons. Yeah, you're right. And this lookout tower, which I'm not going to go to because the bottom's already open. That might be supposed to be there. This is one of their observation towers. I just wanted to show you how it looks on the inside. That's for drainage. But you can see the resort coming here. Look how gorgeous the ocean looks. in front of the canyons. So incredible. Look at all these snails and the seashell. They're just hiding away in the wall from the heat. Another way down. And pretty much another balcony to look off of. Toilet. Old, toilet. Old toilet and it goes right into the water. But look at that view! Look at the mural on this building. It's all the way to the top and it's around the front. Decided to go to the Starbucks inside of our hotel. We need to fill up this and maybe get a drink. We have regular pastries. 
and then they have local favorites. Dropped off from Carlos, our Uber driver. Uber? And now we're going to Castillo San Felipe, Felipe del Moro. Which is this? So much green space. And a lot of people are flying kites and losing kites.
we're gonna head this way and go all the way around True Cannonballs. Mortars? to the mountains. the boards came off. is level four, which is the main firing battery. With walls. Walked a mile from the other fort, which you could see over there. And now we've made it to this one. And we're gonna explore it. And this one's called Castillo San Cristobal. The street. Walking up to the fort. But look at the cars. How beautiful. Right next to Old San Juan. <laughs> and you can see the mountains. Wow.
out to the city and the other fort. I can't see it. Oh, you'll, you'll see him. He's walking out. one part of the fort.
you. Old city squares. There's a lot of food around and stores. We're walking to go find some lunch. We're at Stuff Avocados for lunch, and it looks kind of like a pokey spot where you can customize what you get. And Bubba's over there ordering for us. So this one is the spicy tuna. One is salmon, one is tuna. And this one is the salmon. No, that looks like tuna. Yeah, yours is salmon. We went to a place called Stuffed Avocados. so gorgeous these homes We just spent the remainder of the afternoon and evening in the pool. It is seven-ish, right? O'clock and we are just gonna have to shower and figure out what we're gonna do with dinner. And let's just say we took full advantage of the pool bar. We both didn't bring our phones, so we just had some very personal, intimate, times talking enjoying ourselves without our phone or any type of technology social media yada 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 because that's his weakness i have showered and freshened up um we are on our way to go and get some dinner and he's being a little bit crabby because that's what alcohol does to him. We are walking to our car, but I wanted to turn on the camera because I wanted y'all to hear the cookies because I think they sound beautiful. They're little froggies that make a noise that goes cookie, cookie. Um, Dude is trying to convince me to scoot. But I think just getting our car is fine enough. So we decided to go to the district 
which is where the T-Mobile Amphitheater is. And we're gonna try La Burgeresia, which looks like a burger Shake boutique. Shack. What Bubba is calling Shake Shack. And we're on our way. parking but it is raining out here at the T-Mobile district and now we have to go and try and find their spot.
this is an Oreo milkshake. I did not know what I was getting myself into. Gold cheese croquette. And then our beef carpaccio. Oh, yeah, chips too? Cheese. Thank you. My burger. Truffle flies. Truffle fries. Chili cheese fries. And this monster.